everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MMG. Let's play of the Mystery Files of Detective Inaba. So when we left off, um, we found this room, which is really weird. Found the the note from the younger brother to the older brother. Is that right? Uh, found out that the bus driver was one of the brothers, and so we're trying to figure out who the actual killer is. So we've got we went over the notes last time. So I guess we're gonna put together the case. Uh, you will no longer be able to access the menu screen once you start putting together the case. Sure. I guess? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I brought both of them. Okay. So we have Nagageshi. You really know who done it, Mr. Detective? Why did he kill three people? Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Please, listen to what I have to say, because I will start from the very beginning and lead us up to this crucial moment. Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. Thank you for lending me your ears. First, let's look back at on the two cases that transpired here. Our first victim was Kotaro Akashi, the bus driver. He died on the first day from ingesting poison from his meal. Then on the second day, two victims were killed. The crime fiction novelist Shigetaka Komatsu and the carpenter Kenichi Nakaya. Komatsu's neck was sliced open with a knife and he bled out. Nakaya's heart was pierced with a bullet and he died instantaneously. Here are some facts you need to know. Both men died about the same time. It was a locked room mystery. And the murder weapons were never found. In short, we have one person killed on the first day, and two killed on the second day at the same time with two different murder weapons. S such a horrific deed. And now I will reveal who is the criminal behind this triple homicide. Oh god! Oh, it's everybody! Well, I mean, it could be everybody, or nobody. That doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, I didn't realize- I thought it was gonna be a 50-50 shot. All right, I'm going to go with my gut because I thought it was Harima because Harima is the doctor. We've been taking the doctor's word on everything. So the time of death could be wrong. Like maybe they both didn't die at the same time, even though our, our uh, detective seems to think so. I don't think that's the case, um, at least not necessarily. Also, the doctor would know what crucial arteries to, to attack or to pierce in order to create blood loss so that they die. So I think it's Harima. And the criminal who did it was you, Seiya Harima. Hey, Dr. Harima did it? You can't be serious. It wasn't me. I'm not a murderer. Mr. Inaba, your desperate attempt at floundering is an embarrassment to us all. Oh, really? It'd be better if you stop making excuses and accept your crimes. Huh? Okay, you have a knife. Take a look at this knife right here. I'm sure you recognize it, right? Yes, it came from the armory. What of it? While I was conducting my own investigation, I found this little number in the closet of your guest room, Mr. Inaba. Is this what you used to kill Mr. Komatsu with? Th no, that's just preposterous. I've never seen that knife before. Th that reminds me. During the time when the double homicides in Mr. Komatsu's guest room occurred, was it Mr. Inaba the last to arrive at the scene? Th is this strange? It's almost as if you were taking the extra time to hide the murder weapon. And two, Doctor? <laughs> I can't believe this. You of all people would deflect blame onto Dr. Harima? That you're able to think of such a ploy disgusts me. You're a filthy murderer. You're inhuman, that's what you are. H hold on, what about Akashi? I had no opportunity to administer the poison. Um, I've given that a lot of thought. Oh god. When Mr. Nakageshi and Miss Arimura left the dining room to gather people to eat dinner, there was an opportunity for anyone to enter there all alone. There, this person could have poisoned Mr. Akashi's dish with the secret, uh, in secret with no one the wiser. Especially when they had done, uh, if they had done this before Mr. Komatsu arrived. However, no one else knew dinner was being made, so all that leaves is one person who could have planted the poison in advance. The sole person knew that the food was being prepared, but they were not involved in it. Ergo, we had no reason to suspect them at first. Oh, wow. Mr. Inaba. <laughs> The only person who knew that Mr. Nakageshi and I were cooking was you, Mr. Inaba. Uh, Arimura. Uh, okay, let's see here. I I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Inaba. I, I don't know what to think. What should I do, sir? Mr. Inaba. I we have all the evidence you need to put you away to for a very long time. It'd be best for everyone's sake if you gave up quietly. After the confrontation, one of us found the key to the front doors and we all escaped the mansion. Okay, instead of our bus waiting for us at the other end, there were police officers standing by. Apparently someone reported us as missing. I gave myself up to the police, but I won't confess to a crime I never committed. However, since I couldn't find a counterpoint to their reasoning, it was useless in the end. My entire case was built on a faulty foundation. Only now do I understand that fundamental fact. 
Okay? Huh. Well, that's not good. So... Is it... I don't know. Is it Nakagishi? I don't think so. Let's see what he says. That can't be. Yeah, okay, so he says the same thing. Weird. Well, that's not good. So that gets us the same ending. Huh. Oh, whoops, I started the game over again. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about this, because that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I'm really, really curious about what's gonna happen. I'm gonna see if I can poke around a little bit more and see if uh, we trigger anything else. So hang tight and I'll try to find something out. Okay guys, so I started with the most outlandish option that I could and at least starts with a different like line of thought. So I did none of us just to see what happened. Although this would be a really cheap answer to be honest with you. So I didn't think it was gonna happen, but then he says this and the criminal, or should I say criminals in this case are not at present here. Huh? See, this music plays? I don't know what's gonna happen, so I, I guess we're gonna do it. Not present. What do you mean by that? The ones who executed these crimes are not with us. Actually, it'd be more fair to say they are no longer in this world. Oh! So you're saying the novelist was the killer, right? Okay, uh, we're getting, we're all getting confused here. Let's take it from the top, shall we? The one who poisoned Mr. Akashi was... Um, himself. The one who poisoned Akashi was Kotaro Akashi himself. He voluntarily ingested poison and died. Well, why would he do that to himself? You shouldn't sound too surprised, Arimura. Besides, these letters also told us as much. Oh yeah. Letters? What letters? These letters were addressed from an older brother to a younger brother. They were spread throughout the mansion. Let me read you the line in question. You asked me to become one of your test subjects tomorrow. This is so wonderful. I get to die for my younger brother. There can be no greater happiness. I can't wait for this day to come. The older brother plainly laid out what he intended to die for his sibling. From there, we can easily discern his identity. We, we can? Who is he? Mr. Akashi. M Mr. Akashi's the older brother? Then, on the night he died, th the killer was... That's correct. Mr. Akashi was both a victim and an assailant. So, he, he would have the easiest time out of everyone poisoning his own meal. W wait a sec. Okay, I get how Mr. Akashi offed himself, but you're forgetting about the double murders. How about explaining that one, huh? The one behind the second murder involving Shigetaka Komatsu and Kenichi Nakaya was... Um, okay. Harima, no. So they killed each other off. The ones behind it were Komatsu and Mr. Nakaya. They did each other in? Correct. The entire mystery behind the locked room murder was simply that they killed each other at the same time. C could you please explain this in greater detail? It's all because of that poisoning incident from the night before. Mr. Nakaya was completely convinced that Mr. Komatsu was the true killer. Mr. Nakaya didn't plan for his paranoia to result in murder, but I'm certain he had thought on this. Uh, he had that thought on his mind the entire time. What kind of thought? Simply to kill Mr. Komatsu before he can kill him. I'm sure that's what was going on through his mind. Thankfully, he learned some unexpected good news that very same night, which he was sure would give him the edge. The armory. Precisely. Nakagishi told everyone about the existence of the armory on the third floor. Mr. Nakaya took a knife from the armory that he would later use to kill Mr. Komatsu, then went to confront him late that night. He was probably let in claiming something, uh, claiming something along the lines of, help me, he's after me. I know you're not really the killer, so you gotta let me in. Naturally, Mr. Komatsu let him in, all while Mr. Nakaya was hiding a knife in his pocket. In order not to let Mr. Komatsu escape, he locked the door behind him. He then attacked the novelist, but that's when the unexpected happened. Such as? Our carpenter acquaintance didn't expect that Mr. Komatsu would also pay a visit to the armory. The gun! You're catching on. Good. This also explains Mr. Komatsu's complete attitude change before the double homicide. So, that's why we had no issue with Mr. Nakagishi and I sleeping in our own rooms. It's because if he was attacked, he'd be able to handle the situation on his own, so he had no reason to be afraid of having the killer on the loose. It's also possible he was plotting to turn the tables on the killer as well. 
Sadly, in the end, Mr. Komatsu fired his gun at the same time Mr. Nakaya landed his own attack on him, resulting in the simultaneous deaths. Okay? Uh, here's the scenario I'm proposing. Mr. Komatsu acted too rashly and attacked first, but Mr. Nakaya was just a bit quicker. Mr. Nakaya's knife had sliced Mr. Komatsu's neck while he pulled the trigger. Then the carpenter fell backward from the force and died instantly. The novelist also fell back, blood pouring out from his artery being cut, until at last he bled out, giving us our locker room mystery. Hold on there. If what you're claiming is true, then shouldn't they have been clasping at their respective murder weapons when, uh, when we came to the scene? It, he has a point. If they killed each other at the same time, then the weapon should still be there, but they were nowhere to be found in that room. I hate to break it to you, but I actually found one of the murder weapons not too long ago. Really? Where'd you find it? You see, I found it inside my guest room, right? The simple truth is that with the second incident, there must have been a third party who tampered with the crime scene. A third party? Yes, and that third party is... Uh... Ghost? A ghost can't really... temper with anything, right? But we have received, like, keys and stuff from ghosts. Why would a ghost tamper with the crime scene, though? Is it the owner of the mansion? The third party who tampered with the crime scene was the owner of this mansion. Arimura, you recall the younger brother mentioned in the letters written by Mr. Akashi, yes? Uh, yeah, I do. He was the reason why these letters were written in the first place. Correct. And this younger brother is clearly the owner of the mansion, as Mr. Akashi said himself. After I transport these test subjects to your mansion, you will observe their behaviors closely, and our efforts will become the basis of your next novel. Now, do you recall the younger brother's name? Um, I think it was Nagito. Yeah, Mr. Akashi's younger brother is named Nagito Akashi. Correct again. Good work. The owner of this mansion is behind everything. He even went through all this effort to manipulate the crime scene, all to in implicate and trap me. So, you're saying that this owner, the mastermind, is still working from the shadows to get us. He's not lurking in the shadows any longer, for he's right here in front of us. What? Nagito Akashi. There is a name hidden inside there. If we were to rearrange the names, we would get... Oh, God. I don't think I wrote down everybody's name like that. Is it, it's Nakagishi, right? I think? Nope, not Naz, okay. Is that gonna be enough? Toa Nakagishi. You're on a roll, Arimura. He's the one responsible for this, the mastermind in the shadows. He brought us here only to trap and observe our movements. But now I've unveiled your true nature, Toa Nakagishi. Or should I refer to you by your real name, Nagito Akashi? I, I can't believe it. Mr. Nakagishi, was this really your plan all along? Well? <laughs> Mr. Nakagishi? <laughs> you gotta stop randomly pointing fingers at anyone, Mr. Inaba. I'm the mastermind? Are you serious? That's totally impossible, man. Are you purposely trying to sway the conversation in your favor to distract everyone from the knife I found in your guest room? Please. I'd like to hear your explanation of this. Go ahead. Simple. You planted it there to frame me. You brain dead evidence, man. Where's your evidence? Oh, do you really want to know? Are you pulling my leg out with it, man? I want to see the so-called evidence that you have. As you wish. It's your grave you're digging. The evidence that exposes the owner of this mansion as the one who manipulated the crime scene was... Um... I guess the sole of their shoe, yeah. The incriminating evidence that exposes the owner of the mansion is the sole of their shoe. What? I'm not sure I follow. 
Remember the pools of blood that formed during Mr. Komatsu and Mr. Nakaya's death. Apparently the killer was careless and had left his footprint there. I personally made sure to take extra care around these blood pools just to not step on them myself. I also told Dr. Harima to watch his step. Furthermore, Arimura and Nakagishi also didn't go further into the room, thus preserving the crime scene. In short, the killer should be the only one to have some blood attached to the bottom of their shoe. However, judging from the footprint on the carpet, it will only be the smallest of smudges. But the fact it's so minuscule exa is exactly why we're fortunate. The killer never noticed such an inconsequential detail. Therefore, I think it's about time we check the bottoms of everyone's shoes. If we do that, this will reveal the true culprit who removed the weapons and planted one of them in Mr. Inaba's guest room. Ever the sharp one, Arimura. So, what are we waiting for? Anyone feeling like bearing their soul to me? Bearing your soul? <laughs> You're incredible, Mr. Inaba. You certainly earned your title as the great detective. Thanks? Of course my stupid brother had to go write such drivel. Oh well, I can't expect anything from a bonehead like him. Seriously, he made every single thing a hundred times more difficult. I can't believe anyone would be so incompetent. It's all his fault I've been found out. M Mr. Nakagishi? Uh-uh! Why are you still calling me by that name? Did you not listen to anything our detective friend had to say? My name is Nagito Akashi. Try not to forget it, okay? N no this can't be real. Please tell us you're joking, Mr. Nakagishi. This isn't like you. I thought I told you worthless sacks of crap to call me by my proper name. <laughs> Nagito, tell me, how many people have you killed? Could it be? Did our private dick crack this case wide open? Oh, wowzers! Somebody give this guy an award! W what are you saying, Mr. Inaba? Based on those letters, I have deduced that our mastermind here has repeated the exact same scenario countless times before to an art form. Yeah, you're talking about us being test subjects. Precisely. Anyone who came to this mansion were test subjects to be used as the groundwork for his next literary work. You mean those murder mystery books? My hat's off to you, man. Here I encompassed everything essential in creating the perfect murder mystery. The killer's psychology, the victim's raw emotion, and above all else, keeping the illusion consistent. Those murder mystery novels by an unknown author. You wrote all of them. Hey, are you telling me that you've read them? Because my murder masterpieces are absolutely without peer. Nothing can even compare to them. Especially because all of them are based on real people and real events. They're all nonfiction. Th then all those deaths in the books, they all really happened? No crap, Sherlock. You're out of your mind. However, all those other books are going to pale in comparison to this one. I can't wait to start writing it. Oh, Nagito, you've outdone yourself this time. <laughs> You're insane to kill for such empty reasons. Empty reasons? Excuse you. They were all honorable, valuable sacrifices for my ultimate art. Besides, I didn't lay a finger on them. They all died of their own volition. How could you say such things? Don't, Adimura. Nothing we say matters at this point. <sighs> I totally underestimated you, Mr. Inaba. You're the only one who can manage to see past all my smoke and mirrors. But now I have a slight dilemma. I can't have anyone spoil the ending for my novel before it's finished. So I have one last request for you all. For the sake of art, could you all just... Die? Okay, everyone, here with me. We've got to escape. Ah, oh, come on, don't start pad padding my novel with this foolish nonsense. Oh dear God, yes, I want to save my progress. Actually, you know what? I may actually leave this episode right here. So yeah, we're gonna do this chase scene and find out what happens. I'm glad I figured out who the killer is, but this is about to get very insane. So I think we'll be able to finish it next time. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play.